One of the things we're going to need for this problem is to know the integral for the natural log of x just to itself. So this is something that's done with integration by parts. Once you've done it once, or perhaps twice, by integration by parts, this is one that you really just need to remember. So the integral of natural log of x is x ln x minus x plus a constant if needed. Okay, so to integrate natural log of x being squared, what we'll do is factor it as the natural log of x times the natural log of x. And there isn't too much of a choice. We've got a u and a dv. So one of the guiding principles is that when you choose the u, the derivative of it should be something that's easier to work with than the original. And that principle happens to work here because if you let u equal that natural log of x, the derivative of it is 1 over x, which in most cases is easier to integrate. Over here, as I just said, you need to be able to integrate natural log of x by itself. So the v is going to be x, the natural log of x, minus x. And the plus c will come in at the very last step. So integration by parts says it's going to be the u times the v. So that means it's going to be an x times natural log and natural log. So we'll get an x and then natural log of x times natural log of x. Means it's squared. Distribute this over here and we've got minus an x in a single natural log of x. And then the rest of the formula says integrate the v times du. So minus the integral and distribute this over here and it's going to cancel that x and it's going to make this a minus 1. So then we need to integrate the natural log of x minus 1 with respect to x. So once again, here's the integral of the natural log of x. So let's see x natural log of x is squared minus x natural log of x and then this is going to be x natural log of x minus x with a negative sign applied to it so it's going to be minus x natural log of x plus an x then we need to integrate this which would be well with these two negative signs it's actually going to be positive x and there goes the plus c. And then let's see what we can combine. Well, these two can be combined. There's two of them. And these two, there's two of them. So we would have x and natural log of x being squared minus two of them that look like x, natural log of x, and plus two x's and plus a c.